Marina, don't yell at the baby. Mother, leave Marina alone. You shut up, too, stupid woman. From outside this Chesterfield home, it sounds like the Schwartz family is having quite an argument. I tried to make contact every day for months. But while this is the Schwartz family home, the people at this dining room table are actors, attending their first reading earlier this summer of a new play called Mama's Boy. The boy is Lee Harvey Oswald. You're going to be great. The director is Brad Schwartz. I read the script and I was intrigued by it. You think he's guilty? Mama's Boy debuted in 2015. He lost a son. I lost a brother. brother. The nation lost their leader. This production by St. Louis's Tesseract Theater Company is the first time Mama's Boy has been performed in the Midwest. I am the mother of this boy, and I deserve the opportunity to tell my story. The focus is on the mother, the mother's relationship with Lee Harvey Oswald. That's the focus. It's about the dysfunctional relationship between the two people. You invited the entire family to your home for Thanksgiving and not your own mother. Her name was Marguerite Oswald portrayed in the play as a mother so overbearing, she makes Mama Rose look like Maria Von Trapp. She's a horrible human being. She is a horrible human being. <laughs> Mama's Boy marks the return of veteran St. Louis actress Donna Peroni, who has not appeared on stage in almost 10 years. The scene-chewing role of Marguerite gave Donna Peroni the appetite to come back. They dropped the script off to me, and I read it, and I thought, well, that's a challenge. <laughs> Anyone can own a rifle and shoot whatever they want. It doesn't mean that Lee killed the president. Although it's based in history, this is not a historic piece. This is really the way Marguerite saw history happening. All right, let's get moving. Although Marguerite Oswald is the play's central character, the one everybody recognizes is Lee Harvey Oswald. But when Brad Schwartz went to cast the part, finding someone who looks like Oswald was less important to him than looking for someone capable of finding the real Oswald. I have people who can help me. When he told me what role I was reading for, the first thing that popped in my head was, why? Because there's... I don't know, at least one glaring difference between myself and Lee Harvey Oswald. But uh, the director's note in terms of uh, the actors not having to physically represent the character eased my mind a little bit. So I'm like, okay, it's a, it's a character study, if nothing else. I told you English. In real life, Lee Harvey Oswald's wife was from the Soviet Union. So some of the dialogue in Mama's Boy is in Russian, which required bringing in a Russian dialogue coach. I became very good friends with Google Translate. Boy, don't. You practice it enough and, and you get used to it and some of it's rote memory and some of it's I'm actually thinking like, what words am I saying right now? Find out if they will pay for pictures. Despite Marguerite's well-documented attempts to cash in on being the mother of a famous assassin, Today, she is largely a footnote in history. This certainly changes that. If I had proof, do you think I would come here today? Mama's Boy is one of those plays where everyone knows from the start how the story ends, yet hardly anyone knows how the story began. But it is more than just a play about how extraordinary circumstances produced a killer who changed the course of history. It is also a telling reminder of how easily those same human faults and frailties might be found by looking through our own front windows. My focus as a director is to make this an impactful experience for an audience. If there is no emotional connection, then it is entertainment without any kind of body. Oh, like mother, like son. My reward is when the audience is affected emotionally by the performance. He's accused of killing the president, and he's worried about his baby shoes. That's Mama's boy. Attention all squad. The suspect in the shooting at Elm in Houston is reported to be an unknown white male, approximately 30, 
slender build, height 5 feet 10 inches, weight 165 pounds, reported to be armed with what is thought to be a 30 caliber rifle. No further description at this time or information 1245 KKB 3 no.